When you receive your kit in the mail, it'll come in two boxes. The first containing the shims and anchors and washers, and the other box containing the plate lock itself. So when you open up the accessory box, what you'll find inside is the installation and removal instructions. 24 of the Titan 3 8 by 4 inch concrete anchors. Three of the quarter inch plate lock shims, three of the half inch shims, and three of the three quarter inch shims. In the plate lock box itself, you'll find eight of the five foot long plate locks. Plate locks come in a five foot length by six inch wide configuration. It's a polypropylene product that's completely recyclable. If you notice, every foot on the plate lock has an indented cut line. On the back side of the plate lock, you'll see that it actually has been engineered to maintain its structural integrity. Because the plate lock product comes in five foot lengths, sometimes you'll actually need to cut the product down to fit the different size plates that you have. In this case, we have a four foot wide plate and a five foot long plate lock. So we're going to show you just how easy it is to cut the plate lock product to make it fit for this situation. And now we're going to make the cut on the indented cut line already on the plate lock. And that's how easy it is to cut the plate lock. So keep in mind that your cutoff pieces of plate locks are still usable for other applications such as a T configuration or multiple plate applications. So now we're going to discuss how the actual plate shims are used. They come in three different colors, white being three quarter inch, black half inch, and blue quarter inch. The plate shims are going to be used whenever there's a gap between the plate and the road surface. On the plate shim itself, it'll say this side down to help with installation. Place the plate shim directly in between the gap of the road and the plate itself, making sure to use the shims wherever necessary to give that plate full bearing. Make sure that all debris has been removed from around the plate before installing the plate lock. When securing the plate lock product, there's a few things to keep in mind. It's really simple. All you have to do is make sure that you have an anchor on each end of the plate lock, except for the five foot, where you're going to have an anchor on each end and one in the center. Also keep in mind that if your plate is on an uneven surface or a crowned road, or maybe on an incline or a decline, that you can add additional anchors to make sure that that plate doesn't creep or move. What we're going to do now is lay the plate locks down and show you how easy it is to install. So now that we've cut our plate locks down to size for this 4x8 plate, we'll go ahead and place them down around the perimeter. In this situation where we had placed a plate shim, we're going to want to make sure that the plate lock mounting hole is directly over the top of the plate shim mounting hole. Installation of the plate lock system is really simple. If you can drill a pilot hole and sink an anchor, you have the system mastered. Today what we're going to be using is a cordless drill to drill all of our pilot holes and to sink our anchors. You can also use a corded drill or an impact gun. So what we have now is we have the special THD concrete anchor that we're going to be mounting through the plate lock to actually mechanically secure it to the ground. We're using a 3 8 inch concrete bit and we're going to drill that about a half inch longer than the anchor is long. So when we're drilling our pilot holes, there's a few things that we want to keep in mind. Number one, that the pilot hole is straight, and number two, that we clear it correctly. And I'll demonstrate that for you now. That second thrust that I pushed down through the pilot hole actually cleared it, cleaned it, and readied it for the ink. So now that we're done drilling all of our pilot holes around the whole plate lock system, we're going to go ahead and install our anchors. We're going to use a 9 16 inch socket head and then just drive them straight into our pilot holes that were previously driven.
That's how easy it is to sink an anchor with plate locks. So take note, this is what a properly installed plate lock system should look like. There's a few things to keep in mind. Number one, you don't have to torque the anchors into the ground. As a matter of fact, it's okay if they're slightly loose. The product is polypropylene plastic, which means it can contract and expand slightly. So it's okay not to torque those anchors into the ground. The other reason we don't want to do that is because we want the customer to be able to remove the plate to work in that ditch for the day or do inspections and then be able to put that same plate right back into the plate lock frame at night. Take note also of the clean job site. There's no cold patch that ends up on top of the plate making for a slippery and dangerous surface. And the installation and removal of a plate this size should take between three to five minutes. Now we're going to show you how fast it removes. Removal is the reverse of installation, and we'll show you how quick it is. Thank you for your time. If you have any further questions, visit us at www.platelocks.com. Thanks.